Hi everybody and welcome back to my basement. Today I'm gonna start preparing my GoPro for the Dyson Mini V4 mount. Yeah, I'm making finally a V4 mount and I'm sick of using this kind of connection way and I just wanna use my Vida FPV backboard. Actually also Nameless RC does this and they're the same, but I have an issue. In fact, this GoPro I used for the other video had a working connector. This one is my first and it happens, the connector breaks. You can also break using this one. So what can you do if your connector breaks on this? How do you even put this on? I'm gonna show you. Also, I'm gonna show you how to use it without the case because it doesn't really stay stick to it. So let's check this out. Also, you'll find every link into the description. If you click on them, you will support this channel. Perfect, here we have my original <laughs> GoPro. And this thing is, it's been out for like some months and it accumulated a lot of dirt inside. So let's pop out these back buttons and I have put some tape luckily. So they come out really easily. Look at that gunk. And here we have the GoPro. And I don't wanna mess up too much with the glue here because I don't wanna rip what I did. But I'll show you a pic of where you can solder your five volt cause you need to solder your five volt somewhere if you have this broken. And you just put a wire here or there is another place like this here. I've seen this the first time from Kim Tang and he soldered a 5 volt wire here and make it pass through here and it just works. So if you break your connectors here, this is a really good spot to put it. Okay, so first thing first, let's remove this board and we have to remove the ground because it is in the way. And also I have to cut the red wire so it's shorter and it just can solder onto this. And I'm gonna also melt the glue a bit so the backboard stays flat on it. So these loops are not connected to anything so we also need to solder the ground which is this minus sign really easy. So we need also to thin that one. Nice, now I'm gonna solder this piece with the piece below. And as you can see now it's it's really steady on there. Now we just need to connect the red wire to the 5 volt output. Boom, really easy, it's done. It's a little wire, I'm gonna put some glue there so it doesn't move around. I don't want anything to move around. And you don't want it to because it's gonna maybe contact something, break something, you don't want anything to move around again. And then I prepare this little piece which will bridge this to ground. In fact, now it's bridged and the GoPro should work really fine. I need to put this wire up like this so it doesn't interfere, but it's perfect now. I tested it and the GoPro turns on. What is left to do is secure it even further because this piece is secured but this piece is not. So what you need to do is just glue it. You can use hot glue, yes, but it gets a little bit warm and you don't want it to slide around. So what I found is antenna glue. I will put your link in the description with a discount. I mean, it's like five bucks. And this is the kind of glue they used on the like VTX. And it's really good because it's heat resistant and it also comes off if you decide you don't want it anymore. I'm just sure it doesn't move around. Don't glue your buttons. And put some in the bottom part just to be extra careful and also put some in the screws so it holds I mean if you do this you will not be able to use the beta FPV case anymore because it relies on using screws 
but I don't care because I don't want to use that so I don't use screws and I'm fine and also you can put some glue on the top to protect your connections which is also important and now we just wait till it dries and we are ready to use the camera which is now slimmer than before and it has finally a connector it doesn't move around so you will plug in much much easier and also it seems lighter than what I had before perfect now what you need to do is actually take this cable and plug it in into the lipo battery you don't want to use a back with a back it doesn't work you need to provide it full voltage and now you know how to use your GoPro with the backboard without actually using the beta FPV case and this also works if you have a broken GoPro which is much better like if you have a broken connector on your GoPro it doesn't save your GoPro and now you can use it on the Dyson Mini you can just cut a hole to your existing one and it will work or you can just wait and it will come out in the Dyson Mini V4 which I'll give you a spoiler it will be tiltable as the card comes out and also it does this curve so the buttons don't touch when you land upside down and they don't break much better as always you'll find all the links in the description below please check it out click on them and support me and stay tuned because this is coming out really soon as always stay safe and happy flying bye